Hey guys, and welcome back to another More with Moros video. Today's video is going to be a relaxing clean with me, well, an evening and nighttime clean with me. This is typically my routine after dinner, after the craziness from dinner and getting the kids in bed, the whole nighttime routine. This is typically how every single evening and night goes. So I want to take you guys along. So we just got done having dinner and this is what our kitchen looks like because we just throw everything on our counters. We have food all over the counters, the kids' school stuff, folders, you name it it's on the counters and the first thing that I typically do is I try to clear off as much as I can and of course gotta clean off my little man he was the last one eating dinner so I had to wipe him down and I usually before we get the kids in bed we'll go ahead and just at least clean the kitchen so I'll like I said we'll take everything off the counters I'll wipe down the high chair I'll wipe down their table our dining room table the dining room chairs put food away like whatever I can go ahead and put up before doing the dishes and wiping the counters off and loading the dishwasher all that fun stuff um, I'll go ahead and do that first and I apologize too if my voice is sounding a little off I lost a little bit of my voice so if I sound raspy that is why I also want to mention that Frank and I have a rule so whoever cooks dinner the other person has to clean up. So we had burgers and hot dogs and tater tots for dinner. So naturally I was the one to clean, but then typically Frank will put the kids to bed if I'm cleaning and vice versa. If he's cleaning the kitchen and everything, I'll be putting the kids to bed. So we really try to work as a team. Actually, nights like tonight, um, we'll clean, not in this video, but tonight as I'm filming this, um, we clean the kitchen at the same exact time and we got it done twice as fast because it wasn't time for the kids to go to bed. So every night is different, but like I was saying, this is typically how our evening routine goes. I have to wipe down the chairs every single day because despite if we eat at the table if we just get like takeout the kids are doing their homework so you guys know i'm talking about snack crumbs erasers and you know after the kids have been doing their homework or play-doh and it doesn't help that they're black so everything shows up on them so regardless they have to be wiped down every single day So before vacuuming and cleaning the rest of the house, I will go ahead and pick up every little toy, any miscellaneous things I've found the most interesting and fun stuff on our floors that the kids will drag out. Mainly Fletcher, he loves to get in the pantry. And well, he likes to do two things in the pantry. He likes to pull things out and bring them all throughout the house or he likes to throw things away in the trash can. So I'm trying to figure out what has he thrown away yet that I have not found out. And I'll go ahead and plug in the kids' school iPads and their regular iPads as well. And I, for some reason, did not do the dishes yet. I think I wanted like to take a break from the kitchen because of how dirty it was. So I just started to close the blinds, straighten up the living room. And I feel like this is actually the cleanest part of our house um, downstairs. The kitchen and the playroom definitely get the mess is um, but for whatever reason the living room is not that bad so every time I show it I'm like I really don't even have to do anything except for straighten up the pillows pick up a few things and vacuum that is it so I know some of you guys are probably cringing with all the food that is in the sink Frank actually hates doing the dishes for this reason because he hates the feel of wet soggy food let me know if you guys are the same because i've had other people say the same same thing and i'm like this doesn't bother me so i guess for whatever reason i am just not phased by soggy food at all it does not bother me one bit but now i am just loading up the dishwasher i have pretty much a full dishwasher by the end of the day every single day so I will go ahead and run it so the first thing I do is I'll empty it that way I can start loading it as soon as breakfast is done um, I don't do this every single day I probably should because of how much food and how much stuff we're putting into our sink um, I'll rinse it out with like hot water and soap but I don't use my barkeepers friend but I noticed how dirty our sink was so I went ahead and got that out and I actually don't like the powder as much as I do the paste if you guys use barkeepers friend you know exactly what I'm talking about 
um, but I she just used it up so the next time I go to the store I'm gonna get the paste because I think I like that one a little bit more I've actually tried the pink stuff like the brand the pink stuff as well but it just does not do a good enough job so I went ahead and cleaned the sink and I swear our sink looks like a brand new sink every single time that we used it I tried to show you guys a before there was like cheese and stuff stuck in there and everything um, so you guys will see here in a second the after and just how shiny and how clean it is because before oh my gosh it was atrocious I was like so tempted not to show you guys that um, but like I said I have to start the dishwasher every single night just so I can stay on top of our dishes and everything and another thing that I do every single night is I wipe down our glass door that goes outside only because the kids are in and out all day like as soon as they get home from school to the time they go to bed they're in and out playing outside coming inside so naturally they're putting their fingers and smearing their snacks and everything all over the glass door um, but as I was cleaning this I was thinking to myself you know one day I'm gonna look back and I'm gonna I'm gonna miss cleaning that door or cleaning a door full of sticky toddler fingerprints like now it's just like an eyesore you know it's like the first thing you see on a glass door or window um, but I know one day and it makes me so sad to say but one day I'm gonna miss cleaning those little fingers off of the glass and I don't know I don't know if you guys think about that kind of stuff but I think about that all the time um, another thing I really try to do every single evening is take a disinfecting wipe and just wipe down our trash can just because we are throwing stuff away all the time so even though it's a touchless trash can the kids still lift the lids up and they'll put their hands all over it so I just want to make sure that I try to keep it as clean as I can and then I'll go ahead and put all the kids shoes up make sure that their backpacks are hung up from school hang up their jackets now that it is starting to get cooler at our cooler during the day cooler where we live I should say so now that it is getting dark so fast because usually this evening routine um, only takes like an hour an hour and a half but because it's getting dark so fast I go ahead and close the blinds I think it's only like 7 30 8 o'clock so at this point the kids are already in bed or the older kids are about to get into bed so I also will not clean the playroom every single night and sometimes I will have the kids clean it up um, but I noticed that it was really really bad and we didn't even clean it up when we got back from vacation we went on vacation last week and the kids have just like progressively just gotten more and more stuff out as they do as kids do um, so I just went ahead and decided to clean it up sometimes I'll go in there I'll straighten up a few things I'll vacuum you know whatever I gotta do um, but it really needed some tender loving care this night so I put all the books back and made sure all the toys were in the right places and actually I need to as I was doing this I realized I need to go through all of their stuff and all of their toys because I realized Christmas is coming up and they have so much crap like I'm just gonna say it they have so much crap and I'm just thinking I'm not gonna have any room for Christmas stuff so I really need to go through a lot of their toys or maybe have them go through all their toys and donate the ones that they don't want and throw away the ones that are broken and, or missing pieces whatever the case may be so if you guys want to see a video like that definitely let me know because I in the past will throw away a few things but I feel like this time I really need to do some serious decluttering and going through all of their toys because they just have so many and I'm such a hoarder like I save all the toys especially because we had Fletcher and I he, we wanted all the baby toys so we didn't have to buy anymore but they've just progressively built up especially after his first birthday and then you know the kids birthday so yeah, I do I need to do that. I'm dreading it, but it's something that I definitely know I need to do. You guys know how I used to always rave and talk about and use my sharp steam mop well I went back to the basics and brought out my Bona mop even though 
it's a little bit more, you have to do a little bit more effort than the steam mop, but I found, like I've started to use it more, I found that it cleans better. Like don't get me wrong, I still like the steam mop, it's perfect for tile, but when it comes to the wood floor, I love the Bona mop, 10 times better. So I know I've always talked about this uh, shark and I'm still gonna use it for like the tile upstairs and everything, um, but I definitely recommend for hardwood floors, 100%, Get the Bona Mop and their solution to go in it. I'm telling you guys, my floors have looked 10 times better than the Steam Mop ever could have done. I also noticed that my entryway rug, the ruggable rug, needed to be washed. So I went ahead and stripped off the top layer. That is the part that I'm going to throw into the wash. And then the bottom layer that it sticks to, what I usually do is I'll just fold it up put it away and that way I can vacuum it and vacuum underneath and I was going to mop the whole bottom floor but I decided to get my well I vacuumed a little bit but then I got my robot mop out and I just decided you know what I'm gonna make it easier since I cleaned the playroom and I had such a big mess to clean in the kitchen I'm gonna make my life a little bit easier and just go ahead and bust out the mop and that's what I did so I just let it run the rest of the time because I realized everything is cleaned up everything is straightened up and the kitchen is clean the playroom is clean there is no better feeling for me personally one of the best feelings is knowing that everything is clean downstairs so when I do go upstairs and go I go to bed I can come downstairs and wake up to a clean bottom floor I don't know why but just starting my day with a clean house makes me so happy and more productive. I know that sounds crazy, but I know I can't, I'm also, I can't be the only one that feels like that. I don't care about the upstairs personally. It could look like whatever, but I have to make sure that the downstairs is cleaned. But that is gonna be pretty much it for this relaxing evening and nighttime cleaning routine. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. I know it was a kind of a quick video, but regardless, like I said, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Also, let me know if you guys are still enjoying our cleaning videos and also let us know what other kind of videos that you guys wanna see, which ones are your favorites sound off down below give me all your feedback thank you guys so much for watching i really appreciate it you guys mean so much to us and we will see you in our next video bye guys